what is the value of x given that you have x to the power of 6 equals 5 to the power of 6. So from here, let's have it as x to the power of 6 minus 5 to the power of 6 equals 0. So from here, we can have x to the power of 2 to the power of 3. 2 times 3 will give us 6 minus 5 to the power of 2 in parentheses to the power of 3. 2 times 3 will give us 6 equals 0. Then recall when we have a to the power of n to the power of n equals a to the power of n to the power of n. So meaning we can have this as x to the power of 3 in parentheses to the power of 2 minus 5 to the power of 3 in parentheses to the power of 2 equals 0. We come we have a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2. We have this to be difference of two square. Square is a square is here. We have minus. This can be simplified as a plus b in parentheses times a minus b in parentheses. So we have this as x to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 3 in parentheses times this x to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3 equals 0. Because when we make the comparison, our a is x, our b is 5. So let us recall again, for this expression to be equal to 0, it's either we have x to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 3 equals 0. Either the one might be equal to 0, or we have x to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3 equals 0. So let's recall from the algebraic expression, when we have a to the power of 3, plus b to the power of 3 equals as a plus b times a square minus ab plus b square. So when we apply it here, meaning x to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 3 will be equals x plus 5 times x square then minus a is x b is 5 here will be 5 x plus 5 square then everything equals 0 so from here we have x plus 5 times this will be x square minus 5 x plus 25 equals 0 here we can have x plus 5 equals 0 or we have x square minus 5x plus 25 to be equals 0. Then obviously x will be equals minus 5 from here. This is the first real solution and also from here x will be minus b positive or negative square root of b square minus 4 is c over 2a where the parameter is the coefficient of x which is 1 and b is coefficient of x minus 5 then c is 25 so we're going to have x here is already minus times this minus will be plus 5 positive or negative square root of this will be minus 5 in parentheses to the power of 2 4 times a is 1 times c is 25 over 2 times 1 here will be 5 positive or negative root of 25 minus 4 times 25 will give us 100 over 2 so we have x 5 positive or negative 25 minus 100 will give us 75 minus 75 over 2. So this will be 5 positive or negative root of 75 times root of minus 1 over 2. So we have x 5 positive or negative 
note that root of minus 1 equals i so we can have 75 as the product of 5 25 times 3 so here will be 25 times t times i over 2 and this will be 5 positive or negative root of 25 will be 5 multiplied by root 3i over 2 so meaning we have x the first one will be minus 5 comma 5 and take plus 5 root 3i over 2 then comma x minus 5 root 3i over 2 these are the first solution for the x and let's solve for the rest let's recall from this second case from here so from here we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 equals a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square meaning we have x to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3 equals x minus 5 times x square plus 5 x plus 5 square equals 0 from here we have x minus 5 times this will be x square plus 5x plus 25 equals 0 from here x minus 5 will be equal 0 or we have x square plus 5x plus 25 equals 0 so we have x to be equals 5 from here by using quadratic formula we have x minus b positive or negative square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a meaning parameter a the question of x square which is 1 b is 5 and c is 25 so from here we are going to have x b is 5 from here we have minus 5 positive or negative square root of 5 square 4 times a is 1 times c 25 over 2 times 1 so we have x minus 5 positive or negative square root of 25 minus 100 over 2 so we have x minus 5 positive or negative we have here to be minus 75 over 2 so we can have x minus 5 positive or negative square root of 75 times root of minus 1 but root of minus 1 equals i in a complex space over 2 so this will be minus 5 positive or negative we can have root of 75 as 25 times t times i over 2 x from here we have minus 5 positive or negative so root of 25 will give us 5 multiplied by root 3 i over 2 so mainly again we have x to be 5 comma minus 5 plus 5 root 3 over 2 3 i comma minus 5 minus 5 root 3 i comma 2 we also have under minus 5 you can see this one is x1 x2 
we have 5 plus 5 root 3i over 2. We also have 5 minus 5 root 3i over 2 as this. So if you are new here and you find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more math tutorial videos. So now let us now check So to check when x equals 5 comma minus 5 from here we have x to the power of 6 equals 5 to the power of 6 from here, 5 to the power of 6 will be equals 5 to the power of 6. So this satisfies for the second one will be minus 5 in parentheses to the power of 6. Then it's going to give us 5 to the power of 6. Assuming we have a parameter a minus to the power of even, always know that we can we always have this as positive a to the power of even back so and this is negative meaning we have it as 5 to the power of 6 will be equals 5 to the power of 6 so this is just satisfied and x equals 5 comma minus 5 is correct